all gotten your open G and it sounds beautiful and we've worked on that, let's talk about hand position. So keep your right hand on the barrel, okay? Sit up really, really tall for me, okay? I want you to shake out your left hand and then bring it down beside you. Shake it, it's loose, it's relaxed, okay? And then bring it up just in this kind of relaxed fingers angling what direction, guys? Down. 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 Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and curve my fingers just a little bit. My first finger makes a what? A hook, okay? Now, my thumb makes points at what direction, guys? Upward. 45 degree. 45 degree angle upward. So if it were a clock, okay, so here's your clock. 12, 6, 3, 1, uh, what number is this? Wow, 9. Okay, all right, so it's going to point at 1 or 2 o'clock, so over here somewhere. Okay, so my thumb points in this direction like that on the register key, okay? So go ahead and put your thumb on the register key. Make sure you're covering the hole and it points, or thumb on the thumb key, covering the hole, okay? Pointing kind of off to, towards one or two o'clock, okay? Then you're gonna add your other fingers, one, two, three, over those next holes. Your first finger is that hook, okay? And your pinky touches the pinky key right here. Pinky always touches what? Silver. Silver, silver. pinky touches silver, okay? Now, once you have all of your fingers covering the holes and you're sure that they're covering holes, you can like actually look down and check. I want you to take your fingers off and check for Cheerios. You should see little circles on your fingers, complete circles. If you see partial circles, it means you're not covering the holes, okay? And if you're not covering the holes, then you're not going to be able to make a good sound, okay? So do that again. Take your hand off after you've checked, and then I want you to put your hand back on. Make sure your fingers are sloping down. Your third finger is what? On the... St your third finger is straight. So first finger is a hook. Your third finger is what? Straight. straight. Because your fingers are sloping down, and that's the way it, that's just the way it lays. Sit up really, really tall for me. Okay? Go ahead and take your right hand, which is holding the barrel, and put that on your left shoulder. Now you can see your fingers, yes? Okay? Is your pinky touching silver? Okay? Is your first finger a hook, kind of barely touching those other two top keys? Okay? Are you using the pads of your fingers? Okay? So if you're using the very tips of your fingers and putting the tips of your fingers into the holes, it's not going to cover. There's no way. You got to use the fat, squishy part of your finger. Okay? So use the fat, squishy part of your finger. Fingers, okay. All right. Let's do a quick fingering exercise. So everybody put all fingers down. Now lift them up, but keep them hovering over the keys. Now put thumb down, then one, then two, then three. Now lift three, lift two. Don't lift it high. Just barely off of the key. Lift one. Make sure you're sitting up tall. Lift thumb. Now thumb down. One, two, three. Look at your fingers. Look, look, look. That's the point right now. Okay, now lift three, lift two. Look at your fingers. Lift one, lift thumb. Okay, check for Cheerios again. Awesome. Check for Cheerios. You should have complete circles on your fingers. All right, and that is all we're doing with fingering exercises today. All right, so let's go. Uh, that's it for online people. Work on your fingers, lifting and putting down, making sure that your fingers are just barely above the keys when you lift them up.